Hey guys, out thrifting today. We've got our bags ready to go. We're gonna go to our usual two, possibly three. And we was hoping to go garage selling yesterday, but we got rained out. So hoping to score today. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Hi hey everyone, Mike, Newfound Pass, this week's haul video. We went to our normal two thrift stores today. Uh, we wanted to go garage selling this weekend, but we got rained out. So got some projects done, as you saw from my last video. So, but the thrifting was good, shockingly. Uh, five Ikea bag. That's really good improvement from last week. So let's just jump right in. So first up, we got a vintage. This is a vintage Miller Pearl Snap shirt. And this is a women's. This is from the 1970s. I looked this up and there's no exact pattern, but this tag style, um, yeah, indicates from the 1970s. Let me see here. Blue and pink were half off today, but this is orange, but we still got our normal at 25% off, so about five bucks for this. There's some solds on similar ones like this in the 30s and 40s, and there's others listed in the 50s and 60s. So, And this is in really good condition. Always check your pearl snaps, make sure all the inserts are in there. And everything and this one's in pretty good condition you can tell it's worn but uh yeah should list that one up for between 40 and 50 bucks next up we have a well, brand new with the tags here we go life is good philadelphia uh none of these on ebay none listed none sold but life is good always does well for us uh paid six and change for this one and this will probably sell about 30 bucks or so yep Next up, something with no comps at all, and you know, it's vintage. This is a vintage Hanes, yes, Hanes, Stedman by Hanes polo shirt. And this was about six and change or so after our discount. And this is an Apple shirt. This is with the release of one of their Macs, that Mac desktop that they had all the different colors. You know, still the CRT monitor days. But uh, yeah, no comps on this, but this is in like new condition. Not like new, it is new, it just doesn't have the tags. The creases are perfect in the sleeves. Uh, everything about it screams new. So yeah, I don't know what that would sell for. What do you guys think? But I know it can't go wrong with Apple products. So Next up. We have a vintage starter t-shirt, and this is the New Jersey Devils from their Stanley Cup win in 1995. Vintage. And here's the, it's brand new with the tags. Paid about six and change for this one as well. And it seemed like nothing was on sale today. We got a few things on sale, but, and that's the vintage starter tag. Check that out. This is made in the USA. Woohoo! I don't do that anymore, really. Well, there goes a cat. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there were some others listed of these. new uh, Used, but not new. Uh, the used ones were listed from $25 to $35. You know, since this one's new, you know, hopefully in the 40s. Um, it takes definitely the right person to buy a vintage New Jersey Devils t-shirt. So, we'll see. Go, my wife found this in the women's section, but this is a men's foot joy yep uh windbreaker this is a pullover it's a half zip snap zip and snap pullover this is a dry joys by foot joy and this was pink so we got this for five bucks and these are an easy 25 to 35 dollars i sell these all the time good condition you know make sure your zipper works so yeah good stuff pick these up and i paid up for these um these are you know, brand new with the tags. These are Peter Millar uh, wicking shorts. And there was another brand new pair of Peter Millar shorts there that was not their performance or wicking or anything like that. And they were $15 and I passed on them just because they didn't have the comps. But these are the wicking style, wicking brand, size 42. And they also have the Villanova logo embroidered on them. So what did I pay for these? We got our normal, you know, 20, 25% off. So about 15 bucks on those, but they should sell between 50 and $60. Big size, Peter Millar, Performance, Wicking, Villanova, lots of good stuff going for it. So yeah, good stuff. Uh, this I'm probably keeping for myself. 
this is a three millimeter neoprene I'm not even gonna say that <laughs> that brand but it's a it's a dive vest for lack of better words it's a three millimeter dive vest and this is in like new condition uh, only paid you know five and change for this and if you know dive stuff stuff's expensive so and this is an extra large so I'm gonna keep this for myself okay a couple more things in this bag these were really cool Let's see if I can hold these up this is tough these are overalls denim overalls they're not clipped or clasped or anything so uh, blue and pink were half off so these were only five dollars and these are Duluth Trading Company Duluth Trading Company is just an awesome brand to flip you can find it in good condition these are in perfect condition these have reinforced knees you know the cargo po uh, pockets on the side um, the size is different I'll definitely have to decipher the size it says MX 31 so I don't know if that 31 is the inseam the waist I have no idea but you know we'll measure them up regardless I didn't even comp these I just know that good condition Duluth trading company stuff is money in the bank so. okay last couple items in this bag two Tigger mugs and they say bouncy tenacious adventurous and carefree two of them exactly the same exactly the same store and two different prices luckily we got a cashier cool enough to give us the lower price you'd be surprised you know you think a normal person would go oh, I'll just give you the lowest price stuff mm -hmm. it's a 50 50 shot at this surf store buddy <laughs> but this cashier was cool gave us the 99 cents a piece and we got about 25 percent off so 75 cents a piece on the box so I'll probably uh, they sell from anywhere from 15 to uh, 22 bucks a piece so if I don't break them set them down there <laughs> okay so next up we got some more hard goods here this was another one that when I picked it up I swore it was priced when I got up there there was no price and luckily the cool cashier got it priced for me five dollars and this is a 221b Baker Street Baker Street Sherlock Holmes detective game and this is from 1977 it's kind of like an Avalon game but it's not it's by John N Hansen company um, yeah sealed new so we paid about you know four and change or whatever after our discount and this thing in new condition sells in a wide variety of prices 50 to 100 bucks so yeah we'll just have to see where that one ends up but good find regardless okay okay we'll stick with the games here i found a cranium caribou i did not count all the cards all i did was open it up and make sure it had the key there's a key in these that is key <laughs> for this for this game i have another one of these that's missing the key the other one's in really good condition complete with the cards and everything so i may just steal the key out of this one put it with the other one and sell it for about 65 dollars yep about 65 bucks and got this for you know four bucks or so cranium caribou i'm always surprised when i see them but i love it when i do we got a huge i don't know if i want to show this <laughs> yeah i will i won't show the price how about that we got a huge latch hook kit and this is like a santa christmas wreath latch hook kit by craftways and this is called jolly santa wreath it's massive has everything in there and i may depending on how much it gets up there i may include this in our auction lot of black chip kits but we may we may not i don't know being cagey <laughs> but it was really cool and uh we picked that up next up this is <laughs> my wife knows i like keyboards so she had this in her cart and i was like Ooh. <laughs> this is a microsoft comfort curve keyboard 2000 got this for you know about five bucks or so high fours this is used but it is in very very good condition you know uh, I can tell on these and I took it out of the box and uh, so it'll be it'll sell as used but good condition and these sell for 50 or 60 dollars there's some that sold for lower than that but I think the price point is about 50 bucks on these in the box so yeah good stuff good stuff okay we got a trivet here looks like a howling dog trivet and this is by masterworks 
75 cents or so on that. My wife picked this up and I'm sure it'll be fine in that 20 to 30 dollar range or so. Next up, this is something we had no idea. We just, my wife thought it was cool and we picked it up and put it in the cart, paid three or so for that. And this is like a hand done homemade diner sign. Millie's Home Cooking Diner, open 24 hours. Manager, Millie Engelhart. So it's kind of a folk arty diner sign. So we don't know what that'll bring, but all we know is it's really cool and for a couple bucks you can't go wrong. Next up is an item I don't know if we're gonna keep, sell, give away, bribe, I don't know. This is a store pod uh, to store all your stuff. It's like a zip up pod and this is by Jokari it's from 2005 and we gave you know five bucks or so for this I could resell this for about 25 bucks or so but we don't know if we're going to use it sell it we don't know yet but it'll hang around a while and we'll see okay so next up another thing we did not comp I know there's a something else in here that we put in here so Maybe the other side. But anyway, this is a Chloe and Isabel, like, jewelry caddy. It's a canvas, soft-sided jewelry caddy. Did not comp it. My wife saw some of the jewelry of this name brand, the Chloe and Isabel, sold really well. So she was like, you know what? We'll take it. And here we go. Uh, I can't find the price on it, though. <laughs> don't know how much we paid for it she says about four bucks and she's back there behind the camera so I paid about four bucks for this and I'm sure it'll be fine same good condition uh, yeah so not new but very very good condition next up this is a strange one uh, this is something that go along with my themes of what I try to tell people especially new people about thrifting flipping reselling be curious uh, there was absolutely no reason for me or my wife to think this was worth anything, but my wife picked it up, put it in the cart, and she's like, I'm gonna look this up. And this is a Neko Mini Brainwave Cat Ears. Basically the cat stuff. You're like, oh, I'll look it up. You know, she looked it up. And this stuff is nuts. It's absolutely crazy. We don't know if this thing works, if we have to sell it for parts or what, but new ones of these the solds were anywhere from a hundred to two hundred dollars. Uh, this is not new though, so we don't know exactly what the sell sell for. But we're only in about five bucks on this, and even if we have to part it out, we'll be in the money. But crazy, look this up. Neko Mini Brainwave Cat Ears, it's your bolo of the day. Crazy stuff. Learn something new every day. Whew. Moving along. Moving along. Next Ikea bag, we have, I still comp this stuff because you never can tell, but I pretty much know when I find it. This brand new in the package, premium photo paper. I just sold some of this like last week or the week before. Kodak, 100 sheets, high gloss, 61 pound, really high end photo paper. And this is only about two and change, low twos. About 25 bucks all day long. So, yep, just bread and butter, but that's where your money's at, right? Okay, we got... This one, if there was only one of these, I may not have done it. There was two of these in the box. These uh, two-line speakerphone AT&T. This is a ML17929 model. And uh, we gave about $7.50 after our 25% off. These are definitely used. Definitely used. But I'm going to show you. A layman may open this up and go, nope, that's new. Because look, you open it up, it still has the wrap right here. And this has the wrap right here. Okay, it looks kind of new, right? But there was one key giveaway. The receiver that's wrapped, it has the cord on it. See, the cord, this is used. 100% used. May not be used that much, but it's used. The other one's the same way. So, uh, I'll get this out, clean it up test it out and I'll sell these as a pair there's the same exact thing for about 60 to 75 dollars for the pair if these were new 
a lot more money, but they're not. So there you go. Still money to be made, just not as much as you'd hope. Next up, this is really cool. <laughs> what can I say? Really cool. Thank you for hanging around because this is cool. Like, what is this piece of junk? This is a Black & Decker Space Maker. Nope, it's not a can opener. This is a popcorn maker. Popcorn maker. This thing is brand new. It doesn't have the box, but you know it has the tag on it. Like they may have gotten the box in, the box is wrecked. They may have put the box out on the floor and some customer ripped it open. You know how that goes. But it has all the hardware and stuff taped onto it. Even the bags. These are Black & Decker popcorn bags attached to it. Gave about $7.50 for this. Now is this a home run like the um, can openers? No. But it's about 40 bucks. Easy 40 bucks. So, yeah. Black and Decker Space Savers. Like them, like them, like them. Is that all? No, it's not all. We got some more bags down here. Ooh. Avalanche of IKEA bags. These things, these splash bombs, these were in the game section. The board game section and only gave about two bucks for these and these are new in there but it's obviously like a parent took some out gave them to the kids and the rest got put away or something because it's not full but for being only two bucks in this should sell for about 20 to 30 bucks or so because these are the vintage version they have newer versions of these but uh yeah i think this will be a okay Pretty cool. I think all the great finds my wife found today because she found this as well. She's like, she spotted this when they were rolling a cart out to stock the shelf. She was like, take that. This is a Max Expedition pack. And this is a sling pack. It's a crossbody sling pack. You can see here. And this is new with the tags. It does have a little bit of shelf schmutz on it. But not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Gave, I don't know, after our discount, I can't do math that well. This was 15 bucks, we got 25% off, so 12 and change or so. These packs, a used one, just like this one, sold for about 60 bucks. This one's new with the tags, so will it hit the hundo mark? We don't know. I have to do a little bit more research, but all I know is it will sell for probably in between 75 and 100 bucks be great if it was more who knows but all week you know you're in the store you're not going to figure out exactly what it's going to sell for you're going to see it you can make profit on it pitch it keep on going time is money okay oh my wife found this as well another mug dollar and change or so and this is a an odagiri which we sell a lot of and this is a unicorn mug never seen an odagiri unicorn mug got the three tier brown so yeah that'll be okay and we found another four piece sets of the Bodum. I think they're Bodum. yeah Bodum mugs there's four of these with the black removable handles and these are sell okay they sell good as sets of course but uh, a good rule of thumb is anywhere from that eight to ten dollars each on these and we gave four bucks for or we got a discount, so about three bucks for all four of them. And all four of these will sell 30 bucks or so. so. A little cleaning up to do on them, but not much. We found those new before. That's really nice finding them new. Okay. And we got another IKEA bag down. One more to go. Ooh, this one's heavy. What did I put in this one? Bunch of good stuff, that's what. Okay. Got a few more pieces of clothing here. Oh yeah, this is a brand new with the tags. Shock shock. This is a Nike golf pullover. And uh blue and pink were half off, so okay, four dollars for this. But there's a drawback, but not too terrible. It is embroidered. Dyna Corp International. But for four bucks, surely somebody will want this for twenty-five or thirty dollars. Brand new Nike pullover. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. 
Oh, this is a little vintage piece. This is a not a real big name brand. It's gear gear for sports, and it's brand new with the tags. But it has the Energizer Bunny on it. Brand new, and only gave two dollars and fifty cents for this. Who wouldn't want the Energizer Bunny pull up for two fifty? So I'm sure that's another twenty five dollar pull up or so. Being new with the tags. Okay, there's a whole lot of these, so I'm not going to go through each, each individual one. These are the performance line of Cutter and Buck, which I normally, you know, wouldn't get. It's called C Buck. But these are all brand new, every one of them. And these are all Pebble Beach polos. And I gave $3 a piece for them. Bingo, bingo. So, in the, and they all have Pebble Beach golf links on them. There's one. That's a blue one. Two, the black one. Three, another black one. Four, it's like a gray one. Five, there's a light blue one. And I think that's it. So five of them. Three bucks a piece. Fifteen dollars for five of them. Probably get twenty-five dollars for one. So pretty good <laughs> always adds up with the multiples okay so how great was today with tiger woods winning the masters we i didn't get a chance to watch it obviously i was thrifting but we sat down to eat uh dinner before we came home from thrifting filming this on sunday night and uh my wife saw the tv and she goes tiger woods won the masters i was like no effing way oh <laughs> uh, so yeah and he did so and i got this before i knew he won the masters but i'm glad i picked it up now this is the uh amen corner masters polo this is not new with the tags but we only gave three bucks for it i have a feeling master stuff is going to be in demand matter of fact i need to get this listed like tomorrow so <laughs> but it'd been better to have it listed today but at least i got it so yeah okay we got oh that's why this bag was so heavy i got four pair of shoes in here i got two see here and these are all these are they're different but they're the same these are drew dry lex orthopedic shoes and one pair is like a brown pair and one pair is like a white pair just your basic kind of orthopedic shoes um blue and pink were half off so this pair was only seven dollars and fifty cents and this is branded with the tags so seven fifty for that pair, and they sell for around fifty bucks or so. Uh, this was the first thing in the morning, so I marbles running everywhere. This one was not on sale, but we got our typical twenty five percent off. But they only had these marked at twelve dollars, so we paid about eight bucks or so for these. And you know, I didn't even comp these. I saw these after I saw those, and I'm like, oh, take those too. So there you go, two pair of the orthopedic shoes. They're not sass, but they'll do okay. And we got two pair. Of Asics paid up for these, but these are brand new. And and both pair of these were they had marked at twenty five dollars, but you know we got our twenty five percent off, so about twenty bucks a pair. Okay, so the good things, these are new attacks, both of them, no boxes, but uh, yeah, brand new, a uh, little bit older stock. These are a women's shoe. And I, that fooled me at first. These were in the men's section, but because they were size 12. Size 12 is a pretty big shoe size for a female. You know, not saying anymore against anyone that does, but uh, these are both female, you know, walking, running shoes. These are a Gel Dedicate 5, I think. And uh, yeah, so I think since these are 12s, we're going to lock these two together. We're about 40 bucks in on them, so we'll ask about $100, $125 for two pair. So hopefully a size 12 lady will like two pair of Asics, brand new. So, yeah, make out okay on those. And pay up, but the payout should be pretty good. All right, last item. Last item is this Guzzini. These are like a plasticware cup tumbler. Uh, pretty high end. This is the Italian. This is only three bucks. We've sold similar stuff like this before. A lot of sailors like this stuff. And uh, this is the yeah clear version. 
And uh, so I don't know what comp on these, but we only paid three bucks, probably 25 to 35 dollars, just guessing. But uh, yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments if you want to. Guzzini, Amanda. So that's it. That's a big haul. Uh, lots of stuff. We, we worked hard today to do it. Uh, thank you to all of our old subscribers, new subscribers, everyone in between. You patrons, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, please remember our auction is on uh, April 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern. That's a Sunday. So I don't know if we're going to go uh, thrifting that day. We probably will. And then uh, get home and uh, do the auction that night. Working hard. So thanks, guys. We'll see you later.